To the recap here, I just find out that just cool with the waning moon or overhead follow up goes slightly over the ground and as a result he can avoid some low attacks. Something that DJ could have done to avoid burnout was use his invincible level 2 or level 3 super and wake up in this spot right here instead of using the overhead flash kick or in DJ's move list it's jackknife maximum that would have finished his drive gauge. The plus and block heavy dragon lash kick was looking very spooky. The fooder could have tried to counter it with um, light punch during its startup or tried to cheese it out with an attack with um, air invincibility frames like the startup of one of the jackknife maximums early on in the match. But later down in the match now, right? It's a prime example 
of him reading the situation and looking for spots where he could have cheesed out an invincible move like that same flash kick or in this case his super to get the upper hand when Daigo was being somewhat predictable with his dragon lash kick DJ means stay tuned for my next video featuring a spicy mirror between Dagara and Hot Dog if it's finished look at the card above for it and support the channel by subscribing for more in-depth Street Fighter 6 videos and guides Office Blurred Thank you.